garden bamboo, uh, which I'll bang into the ground as a little marker so I don't walk on my hopefully little saplings when they come up later in the spring. Uh, and then I've got a bunch of acorns. They've gone brown, but they're still pretty nice and hard. And I've also got some um, beech seeds as well. So I'm just going to get started with this bank and I'm in the ground, mark them and see what happens. from the beach will come out of the point here so my strategy is going to be to neatly plant him down like that and then just lightly cover with soil and stake look at what we have here a sweet chestnut with lots and lots of things on the floor, which look pretty good. Ooh, About 10 to 15 minutes worth. And I've got all these babies. So, here they are, but you can tell actually the the system isn't completely uh, foolproof because that one got through, he's no good. So I suppose it does pay to actually look them over one by one, but they are such a beautiful nut. Look at them. So here's a little oak sapling that I collected earlier this year. It was in the height of summer, so it was probably the wrong time to do it. But all I did was just put it in this bucket of soil here. And now this is probably, I don't know, three months later and I pulled it out and you can see there are new um, tender hairline shoots and even the sap, the tap root, sorry, you can see there, it's starting to drill down again. So this is really good. So I'm gonna pop this up, but you can see from the height of this, that any kind of sapling to have a good root is gonna want a deep pot. Isn't it Hetty? So I've probably left these too long um, and also shaken the bag um, after the tap roots have sprouted. And you can see they're all going in different directions, um, but these are initially roots and then the actual tree trunk part will come out of here. Um, so when I plant these, I've got to be careful to plant these with the root facing down. Or I've got one like this. If I just push it in there, it's going to snap the root. So what I'll try and do just create with a knife a little hollow in there. Pop them in. And then just gently press the soil around it. So it's just in there like that. I think that'll do. This one, where that's headed down the side there. like that and cover cover with about a centimeter of soil this is all very light soil so nothing too heavy like clay or anything and repeat for all of these I think I've probably got about 200 in here and some of them are uh, really really having a go already at getting that tap root down leave the soil about a centimetre or two from the lip so when you water this it doesn't always overspill but can leave a bit of a pool of water on top. Look at the roots that have formed on these. These are going absolutely crazy and uh, that's probably why I need to pop these up pretty quickly. 
So there we have it. Mm, that's probably about 45 minutes work. And we have 33 oak seeds planted. Right, so method two, sorry for the messy garden. Um, I saw this on someone else's web channel where you essentially just drill or dig a channel or two and then I'm going to line this with all of the uh, seeds that are budding. If you can catch them before they've germinated too far, like this one, but pick them out when you can see them just coming out like this and then position your position this one down like that. You see the root is starting to head down like that. And these two you can just put on their side. I think that would make a lot easier work of this. So it's getting a bit dark now. Sorry, you probably can't see because of the dying light, but I planted two rows here of acorns. There, 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 and there. And then running through here as well. Um, and then marked the end of the rows with stakes there and there. And what I'm gonna do just to hide these is cover them with nice loose soil and this will hopefully stop them from being dug up by na naughty Mr. Squirrel, although he will be a future client of theirs. It's really quite hard to see with the light. So I'm just covering these over just about gently. Like so. Hopefully the dog won't jump on here too much. Choppy. And that's that. Even darker now. It's the new five o'clock dark time. So in this pot here, which I don't know, is about 40 by 40 centimetres, I've got 16 of these in here in loose soil. And they've got, well, probably about 10 inches of depth of soil below them. So we'll see how they do as well. It's been a couple of weeks since I was with the acorns here, and now I'm just gonna see what happened to them. Um, I think it's fair to say that most have germinated, if not all. There's only a couple which haven't. That's interesting. He's coming out sideways. But yeah, the, most of these have really germinated. Some to the point where I think I've confused them with uh, the turn of the bags. Ultimately, the tree trunk part is going to grow out of here. So I want this kind of pointing upwards and that pointing downwards. There we go. Perfect. And these over here are my other uh, saplings that I've been digging up from the garden and various other places throughout the year. So I've got horse chestnut, I've got oak, I have got sycamore, although I think that might be a maple. I've got hazel, another maple. I've got a crimson maple, which is actually from my own garden. There's another crimson there and one at the back over there. They've dropped their leaves. And then here I've got some um, cherry uh, tree plants that I dug up at the side of the footpath where they had no chance where they were. 